Hey, good evening, everybody. Um, this is Steven again. Um, um, here I am, you guys. I'm shooting a video on the puppies now are uh, November 22nd. I'm thinking like maybe a month and a week or something like that. Maybe five weeks or so. Um, they're walking now. <laughs> But the funny thing is, they're walking. Um, I got I got pergo floors, which is slippery, right? <laughs> and this is this is the this is my first litter. First of all, this is the black girl, the black pug out of that litter. There's three foreign and one um and one um black pug, right? And they are walking now, right? So first of all, I'm trying to teach them. I got to start breaking them in how to start using the pee pee pad, right? One already learned. Okay, um, I leave that little spot of urine there so that the other ones know, oh, okay, this is where we do pee pee at, right? Um, you can't basically, hold on. Basically, um, anybody who has raised uh, puppies or whatever from birth to now uh, to when they grow up, they, um, believe it or not, the mom eats the poop. Oh my gosh, okay? From when they're born... Um, I don't know, I've Googled it and I've heard, um, this is the way the mother stimulates the dogs and I guess the dogs learn that that's how they, you know, do their poop, uh, you know, peeing and pooping. But the crazy thing is, uh, first of all, see, see if I'm understanding this here, right? Um, they feed off the mother. They eat the, should I say they drink the milk from the mother and... <laughs> Um, I just started today, um, started taking them out because they're in that cage. They're pretty much, you know, like when they're first born or whatever, all they want to do is sleep. My God, all they do is sleep, eat, and poop. And again, like I said, you know, for to a certain point, the mother eats the damn poop. And that just, oh my God, that turns my stomach, but mother nature, right? So now, I think they're uh, five weeks now, I think. Um, the mother stopped doing that. Okay, the mother's not eating the poop now because they're pretty much, or maybe she is, but I don't see it like like in the beginning, but they're pooping now that they're a little bigger, now they're pooping a lot bigger, right? So now, you know, like I said, today I got the pee pee pads, I want to, you got to kind of start breaking them in, you know, I don't want them to do, I don't want them, you know, if the mother's not eating their poop, I don't want them, you know, I, I, I got, um, I got a nice blanket inside the cage there, which I wash weekly, and um, I just want to make sure that if they're pooping, uh, let them, you know, they got to learn anyway, okay? But, so anyway, right, uh, I know I'm jumping off, you know, going off crazy. I, I figured, let me teach them how to use the poop. Here, let me put her on, yeah, go on the pee-pee pad, mommy. Ah. So, you know, I leave that little spot of urine there so they can realize, okay, that's where we got to poop at. But it's so funny because the floors are slippery and they're, they're not fully... You know, they're not, um, they're not fully walking yet. I mean, they're, they're strong enough, in my opinion. They're strong enough. Their back legs are strong. And, um, they just slide, slipping and sliding all over the place or whatever. But, um, again, I say, you know, like if, um, when they're first born, um, all they do is, like, eat, sleep, and poop, right? And that, 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 that goddamn thing of the mom eating the poop, that turns my stomach. But, um... That's the way it is. So now that they're five weeks, uh, I noticed I noticed the mother is starting to wean them off because in the beginning the mother is constantly on top of them. You know, I guess somehow the mother knows they gotta eat. They definitely have to eat every day, and they eat like every hour or something like that. Oh my god! Um, but at a certain point, now they're starting to grow teeth. And I know it hurts the mom's nipple, um, and the mother will stop, like, um, I, I, not that I'm forcing her, but, like, when I hear the puppies cry, and I know they're hungry, yes, I will close the mother in that cage, and she's got to do her motherly thing of feeding the little babies. Come here. And, um, anyway, today I want to, like, you know, now that they're, um, the other two, you know, I bring them, I put them outside the cage, but they want to jump back in there. They're like, um, it takes a little bit for them to, to get accustomed to coming out the cage because, you know, from birth to now, uh, the cage is their home or whatsoever. But um, then this one here 
damn it. She got knocked up. That's pissing me off. I, I've had, I got four females, okay? Now, mind you, I've gotten a couple of people, oh, you're breeding, blah, blah. To a certain extent, yes, I'm breeding, but not breeding purposely. Um, I just happened to, I got eight pugs, four girls, four boys. Um, over the years, I've fallen in love with, with, with the pugs, and I, I keep getting like... Um, like that one, that black one, Ma, uh, Bella, matter of fact, her name is. I'm going to keep two of her litter. I'm going to keep two out of that one so I could, um, yeah, I don't know. To me, I just love animals, okay? And But anyway, um, the boys, uh, I, I know I got to get them fixed, okay? Um, unfortunately, they see more action than me, okay? Uh, these dogs, they, they, um, normally I'm self-employed, so I'll go out, I'll leave the house like around 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. I feed them twice a day, once in the morning and then the other one at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, okay? Trust me, they know that schedule, okay? Come here, puppy, come here. Not out, no, no, get away from the wires, come on. That's another thing. Let me, let me put them back in the cage because I'm doing a lot of chit-chatting here and I'm not paying attention, but come here. God, a story, real quick story. Come here, come here. Mommy, come here. Um, I had a litter, I don't know, last year, two years ago, whatever. And the baby pug, from what I understand, I got a bunch of electronics. I got a, oh my God, hold on. I'm not gonna show you guys my um, my inside of my house, but uh, I work out of my house, okay? Um, I got my desk here with all my important paperwork and all that crap. And But anyway, um, I got a bunch of electronics and um, computer, um, CD player. And I just got, let's say, bottom line, I got a bunch of electronics, right? And then if you go down there, that's underneath the desk there. There's a bunch of wires and all that crap. Um, I don't know, last year... I think it was last year one of the baby pugs from what i heard the, the vet told me this all this electronic stuff like when i turn the tv off when i turn the tv off and and, and i turn all the let's say i turn every i got cameras like the security cameras outside i see the front the back of my house the side you know oh, forget about it I'm, I'm like 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 fort knox here i want to know who the hell is outside my house but anyway when i shut everything down for the day and I'm out, like I'm going out to work or whatever. Even though I got everything shut down, apparently humming is going on. Humming that human ears don't, don't, the human ear don't hear. So one of the pugs, one of the baby pugs or whatever, this was last year, I think it was last year, whatever. One of the baby pugs, uh, of all, all of the pugs or whatever, they are attracted to, I don't know, well, that one particular pug was attracted to that humming, and I notice, right, I come home one day, and I notice the, the, the baby pug was chewing on one of the wires for, uh, for the computer, and let's say it chewed a, a part of the coating off, and the pug was getting zapped, okay, um, it was getting little shocks here and there. Now, the kick in the ass with that, I would, I, me, myself, I would think, hold on, this just gave me a shock. Let me leave it alone or whatever. Apparently, the baby either liked it or or was just dumb that, that she just, he or she kept, you know, after getting zapped, it kept going back to that goddamn wire and chewing on it more. Well, the zapping and all whatever screwed its head up that it wouldn't eat no more. So I take it to the vet, you know, it, it just, I noticed one day it, it stopped eating. It didn't want to eat no more. So now I, I start freaking out, you know. I mean, I know they got to eat to keep their, you know, the to grow, to get strong, blase, blase. I go to the vet. Mind you, I paid $375, okay. The vets out here, they don't play. First of all, it's $150 to walk into that door. You don't got $150, they're not seeing your dog. That's the way it works out here. Um, I give my 150 up and the kick in the ass is right. The first thing that I hate that that comes out their mouth, 
if you can't afford to care, blase, blase, you could euthanize it or whatever. Hell no. You know what I mean? It, it, they, the doctor didn't even walk in the back yet with the puppy and, and, and it's coming out her mouth. Yeah, I guess a lot of people financially are strapped or whatever. And if they can't financially pay for it, I guess the cheapest route is putting them to sleep. And I just I couldn't do it. I don't care. So anyway, at the end of my um, my visit, it was three hundred and seventy five dollars. The the vet I explained to the vet that you know the dog is chew. You know I ca I caught the dog chewing on the damn cable, and I gotta imagine it's getting zapped, okay? And the vet told me basically that electricity or whatever screwed with the dog's head that it just wasn't gonna eat no more, you know. And uh, I hate to say it. I, some people might say, oh, you, you should have put him to sleep right there in a sense because uh, uh, oh, he wasn't going to eat. He or she wasn't going to eat. So I I, don't, I took it home. You, it's $65 to put him to sleep, okay? If it was about money, if I was trying to be cheap, yeah, instead of paying the three seventy five, I would have laid out 65 bucks and knocked him off right there on the spot. No, you know, I brought him home and I figured maybe, you know, I, I kept putting him towards the mother's nipple, hoping that, you know, it, thing, regardless, it didn't work. OK, the puppy did pass away. Um, I just I don't know, you know, and I, I just now when I go to work, I don't care. That's why I keep him in the cage when I when I leave for the day. Um I make sure they're in their cage and they're not roaming around. I'll open the cage, right? I got home a little bit ago, so I'll open the cage. Come on, come outside. Let me let me teach them how to, you know, interact with them. They get bored now, okay? Uh, trust me, they are like people. They want to, um, uh, you know, do things, let's say. I got them toys. I get toys every time I go out. I'll, I'll stop at the store and I'll get them a, a little toy or whatever. They, they're not chewing yet, but... Eventually, because now that their teeth are growing, so they will be getting into that chewing stage or whatever. So I try to buy little toys here and there so that they um they could start chewing. Come here, puppy. Here, let me go. Go here, right here. You pee pee there. You pee pee there. Okay, she already did her pee pee. Let's go. You go back in the cage here, mommy. Okay. Um. But anyway, I just wanted to shoot this video. Um, I got a handful of people. I saw, I don't know, six calls today. Um, I haven't spoken to no one yet because, like, basically, while I'm out there doing my work, I, you know, I'm charging people by the hour, and it just doesn't look right to get into a conversation while you're charging somebody else X amount of money per hour to do their job, and it just wouldn't look right me talking to somebody about puppies or whatever, so... I got six calls, which um, in a minute I'm done with this video, I'll start calling.